The Nanaimo Clippers shocked players and fans alike when they fired their longtime coach and general manager, Bill Bestwick. We first showed you a reaction to his firing last night on Vancouver Island Report. And tonight, for the first time, we can bring you reaction from Bill Bestwick himself. A News reporter Steve Quilterman met with Bestwick earlier today. An emotional Bill Bestwick is speaking publicly for the first time since being fired as head coach and general manager of the Nanaimo Clippers. There's always a little bit of hurt, but I went to work every day for 12 years um, representing this organization with passion and dedication and, and heart. Bestwick's role with the Clippers wasn't his job. It was his life. He played for the original team for the 1972-73 season, began coaching in 1988, and over the last decade, led the team as head coach and GM. He didn't expect it to end like this. Did I see it coming? I sensed that there was a uh, change in philosophy and the organizational structure once I no longer was a member of the ownership group. Uh, then things certainly uh, took a turn at that point. Although his dismissal came as a shock, Bestwick won't lay blame. If he has any hard feelings toward the Clippers' new ownership group, he's keeping them to himself. I was really wishing to remain through our 2012-13 season, which is our 40th anniversary, and one that I would love to have been a part of the celebration. Bestwick's been called the man who bleeds orange, and that hasn't changed. He's concerned about his players and hopes the man who is replacing him is up to the challenge of being their head coach and GM. There's no set hours. It's 24-7. Um, you know, you're on the fly a lot. Uh, running the hockey club on the business side and the hockey operations, operations side. Uh, it's, it's a fairly onerous task. Bestwick's resume is a lengthy one. He's the winningest coach in franchise history. He's captured several league titles, appeared in a national championship, and is a two-time coach of the year. Bestwick recalls his greatest memory behind the bench. A full Frank Crane arena when we captured the Doyle Cup in front of an appreciative audience with so many great kids on that team in 2004. Bestwick is well known for graduating players to the next level, whether it's the Western Hockey League, NCAA, CIS, or even the National Hockey League. Seeing players succeed is his proudest moment. It's the ultimate. Uh, there is nothing better than seeing a player reach his potential and uh, um, and in, in many cases, overachieve and, uh, and surpass obstacles. Bestwick says being fired is business. You almost expect it as a head coach. But the man known as Mr. Clipper still didn't see this coming. Steve Coulterman joins us now uh, in our Nanamo newsroom. Steve, when you were talking to him today, did Bill Bestwick give you any idea if he has any future hockey plans? Hudson, it was reassured this afternoon by Bill Bestwick that he will always be around the sport of hockey to what capacity he's unsure at this time but was quick to add that he will not be shying away from frank crane arena on a friday night as he still cares deeply for his players and what do you, uh, what did he say he's going to do to fill his time uh, giving back to the community is Bestwick's plan. He says he wants to give back to all of the fans that gave their time and support to his Clipper teams over the last 12 years. Uh, and he says you will find him at community events, the local rinks, hospital, giving back in whatever capacity he can. All right. Steve Coulterman, thank you. Thank you.